and welcome. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the video. So I'm going to stand here today and drink a cup of coffee while I talk to you guys about what's going on. So you might have noticed that the last few days I've been uploading fairly consistently, practically daily, and uh, there's a very good reason behind this. 11 months ago yesterday, I uploaded a video talking about what I've been up to, what I'm gonna be up to for 2022. Shortly before that, I uploaded my winter update 2021. Now, recently I did an update on my November so far because a lot of stuff happened during that month for me. Now I wanted to do one that's a bit more like 2022 going forward but I haven't quite got enough for a going forward video so I've decided to put the two together so this is a winter update slash going forward video for 2023 terrifyingly that was over a year ago now so I'm pretty satisfied with how my 2022 went and uh, obviously there's still almost a month of it left but as of right now on the 1st of December I'm pretty happy with how things panned out I achieved everything I wanted to achieve and all the goals I set myself for the year but that being said obviously there is more to do there is always more to do life is a continuum so what am I going to do for 2023? The goal I set myself for 2022 was to do more stuff with the band, pursue the music a bit more, stop working all the live long day and acting as though I'm impoverished when really I have enough money aside to be responsible and start actually making a career for myself. Now, what does that entail? Well, basically, to summarize what I just said in a much simpler way, I'm giving up security so I can actually pursue my career. And when I say security, I mean the job, not 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 security as in financial security or anything like that. I mean the job of being a security guard. <sighs> Sorry, that was very strange. The whole point being that obviously I'm a very creative person and I've been working in creative media now in one way, shape or form for many, 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 many years. I mean, I had my first paid acting role as a child actor when I was nine. And some of you may or may not remember from videos past. If, if you don't, then check out my Static Honda Iceberg and my 10 year anniversary video. I was homeschooled from age nine until age 15. And the reason was I was getting the living shit kicked out of me at a very interesting primary school that had a poor anti-bullying policy. And I'm not gonna act like it was just me. There were other kids who were getting the shit beaten out of them too, who all happened to be my friends. And I don't think we were big enough dicks to deserve that. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that I focused on the acting whilst I was being homeschooled and I had lots of acting jobs and it was probably one of the most wonderful experiences of my life. But having done that, and having been in the industry for so long now, doing a nine to five, or in this case, a seven till seven, for me, just doesn't work. I, I, I personally need stimulation. You know, hours doesn't equal quality. If I'm just doing 12 hours worth of not very much, that's hell for a person like me. So for this year, 2023 that is, I'm gonna be putting myself a little further up the ladder, so to speak, from where I was in 2022. My whole goal was to do more with the band, start getting some paid gigs, do more opera, do more videos, and that sort of stuff. I'm now going to take that a step further for next year. So for this coming year, 2023, the idea is to produce more than I consume. I've already spoken to ZT, who all you know is like my biggest collaborator. I mean, for Christ's sake, my new intro features him more than anybody else besides myself, which it really should because it's my channel. He thinks it's a pretty good idea. At least I think he thinks that from what he said. And the whole plan is to basically, instead of constantly looking at my phone, scrolling through social media, watching videos, and all my favorite YouTubers all the live long day, I'm gonna start making more videos than I'm consuming so that I can satisfy that creative itch but also be contributing more than I'm taking out. Also, I think we're all so heavily oversaturated with content these days that people just forget it's all about quality because all they want is quantity. And I'm not gonna be a part of that. I, I, I don't want to perpetuate a system that focuses on quantity over quality. So I'm gonna do my part to try and up the quality of things, especially when it comes to my channel. So for 2023, the whole idea is to start producing more than I consume and make it as best as I can. And that doesn't just mean videos. That also means stuff with my band. I want to do the best possible gigs that I can perform and push my fellow bandmates to do the same, which we're all pretty much on the same wavelength for this coming month on the 14th, so 13 days away. Ah! We have a pretty big gig. Uh, I say pretty big, big for us. It's one of the most prestigious venues in our local area and it's something that we've been setting our sights towards for quite a long time now. So fingers crossed it all goes well, but there's gonna be a lot more of that sort of thing, pushing ourselves to do better in 2023. And for me, that manifests itself as doing more than I'm consuming. So making more videos than I watch, making 
more music than I listen to, which is going to be a much harder task to do. So I'm not going to I'm not going to stick to it like, oh my god, I listen to a hundred songs on Spotify, therefore I have to produce a hundred tracks with my band. Nothing like that. The point is that I have to get out of this mindset of constantly watching stuff and and stuff like that, and get more into the mindset of satisfying my creative itch. So doing more opera, which I am, and doing more of my band, and making more videos for you, lovely people. More singer breakdowns, more metalheads guides, and I know I spend a lot of my my time on this channel saying sorry guys I'm producing this one at the moment and this one and this one then not very much to actually back that up well I do assure you once again I am producing lots of singer breakdowns I promise I've got two in the works at the moment kind of three Doro Pesh, Floor Janssen and Ralph Sheepers I'm just turning my sights towards the gig at the moment and things like that obviously I have to prioritize certain creative projects I'm also auditioning for an opera this weekend and I've kind of got a little bit of a cold it's not COVID, not that that matters, because no matter what, it's going to affect my singing, so I need to really, really focus on that, but I am doing as much as I can. As for Metalhead's guides, I've got three or four that I want to do, and it's just about finding the time and getting everybody organised to do it. I'm hoping to get somebody back from a Metalhead's guide back in 2021, who you may remember, called Ollie. He's my ex-bass player and still a really, really great friend of mine, and I want him to be in the next Metalhead's guide. I'm hoping that can happen soon. But anyway, that's basically what I'm going to be doing for 2023. Producing more than I consume as best as I can, whether it be music, videos, or otherwise. And in my mind, that means all those things. Look forward to more from Static Yonder. I mean, let's be honest, we've had a great year. I've produced more videos this year than I did the year before, and that was my goal. Stop chasing money and start chasing my career. And I'm now going to take that a step further by trying to do more than I consume. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it didn't bore you to tears, and if it did, Tissues are available from all major retailers and I'll see you in the next video.